Hello. Welcome to Maria's Encouraging Art. I'm Maria. Uh, today I'm going to paint a mini, a mini card. Mini, mini card like this one. Um, therefore, they're cards to encourage others. And I put a Bible verse on the back. Don't know if that's the verse I'm going to use, but um, anyway, let's start. So first I'm going to put water on my um, little card here. And I'm using a number 10 brush to spread the water. You can use any any old size brush. Just depends on how long you want to take. Um, I use a number 10 brush. And um, then I'm going to put, oh by the way, the card is attached to the back of this block with just painter's tape. It was just easier than um, holding, having to hold the card because when I began painting these, I would have to hold the card like this, and it got, you know, difficult. Got paint all over my fingers. Okay, so um, I'm going to use, first let's drop in the sky. And I'm going to use some blue. I'm going to use French ultramarine blue for the sky. Just dropping it in. Yeah. And maybe a little bit of water to um, get the sky to look like it's got clouds in it. Yeah, some, ki some skies are cloudy, some are not cloudy. Um, let's put a little blue, wherever you like, depending on if you want clouds or don't. Um, at this stage, um, when the paper's still wet, it's very easy to lift. Um, lift being, you know, you take a little tissue or a paper towel and you just take off some of the blue. But I'm going to probably drop in more. You can also paint it solidly blue. I've seen um, skies that are solidly blue. and But I also like a little bit of clouds. I've seen solidly blue skies that are absolutely gorgeous usually on colder days <laughs> alrighty so um, maybe do a little bit of darker blue under the clouds for looks almost like a butterfly or an airplane okay so and if you want to, you just add more water and then you, you know, twirl it and stuff and the paint will run to wherever you want it to run. Okay, so now I'm going to rinse off my brush and I'm going to do the green because we have to have also a background for the, for the plants the flowers and the grasses. I'm going to try not to talk too much because it, it will take up a lot of painting time. Oops. So there you have a background for the grasses. And it's okay to leave it light, you know. It's okay to put some darker and to leave it light and dark. It doesn't matter. If you put darker in, it gives a an impression. Everything is about impression with watercolor and painting. I'm never going to get the perfection of a photo, and I'm not trying to get the perfection of a photo. The whole point to these um, little mini cards are to encourage people not to show off my skills. Okay, so the next part is to dry off or to let it dry. I'm going to use a heat gun. Some people use dryers um, like a hair dryer um, I use a heat gun because it's um, it's less uh, it 
less air so it doesn't blow things around okay so now that this is dry I'm going to start adding flowers and first I'm going to add some bright red flowers by the way the colors that I'm using are Windsor deep red cerulean blue French ultramarine uh, cadmium free yellow permanent sap green and opera rose I'm not sure if I'm going to use the opera rose but we'll see so first we're going to use the um the Windsor deep red and I'm just going to make some little red flowers drop them in doo, 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 wherever I like little clusters of red flowers maybe over here let's wet my brush a little bit a little bit too dry there I like to make my clusters like um, in some sort of I don't know some sort of arrangement <laughs> if that's what you want to call them okay maybe over here um, also if you want to make further away flowers, you simply can dilute, dilute the, um, the red and just drop in some further away flowers that will dry a little bit um, lighter eventually. Okay, that doesn't make any sense to make a diluted flower there, but I'm going to make some diluted flowers over here. Because, you know, when you look at a field, there's flowers close up, flowers far away. Let's make some flowers here. And a little bit bigger because they are right up close. All right, so those are the red flowers. Um, I may add more red flowers as we go, but we'll see. I need to put some more red in here because that those are way too diluted. And they're just little, they're just little flowers. So I'm not trying to do realistic flowers or anything like that. Okay, the yellow, let's go to yellow. The yellow ones, maybe I will do, hmm, I'll do some like just interspersed. It's a very busy little field. Ah, if that happens, like just happened to me with a lot of water running down my brush because I didn't control it, you could just dab it up with a tissue. Okay. Dab it up with a tissue. Okay. And you can always make the, those flowers a little bit bigger. All right, and that gives a little bit of impression of the, like that it's going down a little hill. Okay, rinsing off my brush, I am going to go into, uh, I'm gonna put some of this blue back on here. Let's add water and grab a little bit of my opera rose and mix it in and see if we come up with some sort of watery purple. We do. We do come up with a watery purple. Watery purple that we are going to use to make some type of, hmm, we add a little more blue. Some type of lavender looking flowers. I don't know. I don't know how these are going to look. I may have to add some white to them. No, they're, they're coming across okay. Um, I'm using watercolor, but you do not have to use watercolor. You can use uh, craft paint or acrylics. Acrylics are just, they dry a little bit faster. Um, you can mix watercolor and acrylic. Um, I just have a lot of watercolors, really good watercolors, and I have uh, the, car, the paper, and I figured I would put it to good use. 
um, to glorify God by making some encouraging cards for people who might need them. And these I give away. I do not sell these. Um, and I don't intend to sell them. Um, because that's not the point. I mean, at least that's not what's going on right now. Um, what I want is to encourage um, others to to look for God. Okay, so these did not turn out right, but that's okay. We'll fix it. Maybe I'll dry that one up. Okay. Um, I'm going to add some little white flowers now with my Posca pen. A little Posca pen. All right, let's add some little white flowers. And those are going to be, since it's a pen, I can do these in... in little clusters. Starting to look a little bit. Alrighty. Let's just do some dots over here. Okay, I'm gonna drop in some more green because I'm not convinced with this. Um, I'm not convinced with the way that this looks. So let's put some more green. Give it some leaves. Let's do some green here. Some grasses. Coming through my mind is the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me to lie down in green pastures. But this doesn't look like a pasture in which I would be lying down. But anyway, I digress. So here is a. All right. That will be the little garden area of the flowers and such. And then we're going to put some. Um, we're going to put a little mountainous area uh, with a bit of green coming off of here like this. See, I'm sort of envisioning it running up like this. Like that. All the way to there. So we're adding green. A bit of green. And, and water. not a mountain it, let's be honest here it's a hill it's a hill because this is a hill all right it's a hill and at the bottom of the hill there is this beautiful pastury garden with lots of flowers that would make me sneeze because I have allergies but um, it's not for other people other people are fine okay and now I'm going to go up like this actually I'm gonna probably end it there yeah like that Alrighty, and again I'm going to add some green, let that set for a second. Let's go in here and do this. Add some more water. because it adds a little bit of depth and dimension to that hill there. It can be, some of it is grassy, some of it is less grassy. Okay. And now, we again must dry. Okay, I'm gonna actually add, hold on, before I dry, I'm gonna add a little more uh, green here. Let it, like, grab itself some because the green is rolling down. There you go, like that. Oh, very nice. Alrighty, 
Let's dry it. Okay, that's dry. I'm gonna actually add some more red here because I'm a little bit distraught by how the red is looking. There we go, brighten that up. Yes, brighten that baby right up. Maybe it's the type of red that I picked. Sometimes I paint with scarlet. Um, this time I just picked um, Windsor Deep Red, and that's like a, I would call it a berry Christmas red. Um, but it's, um, okay, that's prettier. That, that adds a little bit more color. Yes, a little bit more color. You can always add a little bit more um, color to all of the things you're painting by going over them again. It's called sort of like a glaze in watercolor, but again, I'm digressing because what I did was I dried it and I'm going to be adding um, some trees. Oh boy, hold on a second. Yeah. I'm adding some trees. Let's put one more purple over here because I like the little purple ones and they're not getting their due. Poor little purple plants. Okay, maybe one over here. Okay, that's okay. All right, so now um, let's put some trees and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix a little bit of the blue with the green to give it a little bit more. There we go. Okay, um, I'm going to make some trees here. I'm going to switch brushes. This brush is not going to do it. Okay, let's switch to a number six. I'm sorry, let me see. Yep, number six brush right there. And I'm going to put some leaves over here. Let's see. Um, we're going to do a rounded tree here. Gonna go off of the paint, off of them. Yes, and then let's do another one here. Maybe not quite as big. And then on this side. I'm going to make some um, like pine tree looking trees. There we go, because this one's a lot closer. All right. We are going to in the meantime, while that dries, I'm gonna paint some birds because I gotta have a bird. Gotta have a bird. And maybe I'm gonna do the birds in, I don't know if I'm gonna do them in paint. Green and red make brown, and if you do enough of it, it'll make like a black. But um, I'm gonna do, let's see, doot. yeah, a little blue. Maybe do a little bird here. And a little bird over here. Let's add its wings a little bigger. And maybe a little bird over here. Maybe something over here. like that. That's fine. 
Okie doke. So now we are going to use that same brown and, and the number two brush again and I'm going to make some um, tree trunks. Okay. with branches. You gotta have branches. Okie doke. And maybe a little bit of shadow here as it comes down into the, the meadow because it is a little mountain or a little hill. Do we want to put a mountain in the background? You can. You can put a mountain in the background if you want. Um, I have one here with a mountain. This one had a mountain. See, I just left some of the blue. I added purple and I left some of the blue. And um, and that was that, you know. But I think I'm just gonna leave this one as is. And I think that will be done, okay? So that's it for the painting. What I do is then, when it's completely dry, I um, I take it off. This is not completely dry yet, but it's acceptably dry. Okay, I take it off of the little mounting and I turn it over. Um, then I write in pencil, because I don't have lettering skills. Maybe you do, and God bless you if you do. Um, but I absolutely do not, so I use a pencil, any old pencil and I write, and on this one I'm going to write, the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord stands forever, in Isaiah 48. So I'm gonna write that out in pencil. So this is um, with the letters uh, traced over, written in pencil and then traced over with a Sharpie pen, permanent Sharpie pen. This is with the pencil erased, I use a, um, it's called a kneadable eraser, and you can find this anywhere at a Michaels or at a um, an art shop. Um, they're they're actually a lot of fun. <laughs> you just can knead it. Um, it takes away all the pencil on you. Anyway, whatever. Um, we'll talk about these on another another video. But um, then what I do is I like to write at the very top. I like to say God bless you. Always, always bless the people around you. God bless you. So I bless the people around me. And that's it. That is our uh, little tiny encouraging card finished and ready to give away. Um, God bless you. And um, thanks for stopping by. And until next time.